So hop over to this XML file, which I said is pretty much the interface, the layout of your entire app, what it looks like. Now, if you look at the bottom, we have two different tabs right here, the design view and the text view. Now, I want to mention this because this might confuse some people. This is actually just two different views of the same exact file. What Android Studio did is they built this tool that is pretty much just a user-friendly tool of working with the interface, but what it's actually doing whenever you, I don't know, like edit part of your interface, is it's actually editing an underlying file for you, and that's the XML file. So you can either do that with the design tool by dragging and dropping stuff and editing some settings or just editing the source code directly. So let's actually go ahead and look at an example of this. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this. So hop over to your XML file in design view, click on this hello world, and then just hit delete on your keyboard. So we have a blank nothing here. So the first thing I probably should mention is this. What you can do to each of your activities is you can add widgets to them. Now widgets are just little thingies that you add to your interface. And I say thingies because there's not really one word to describe all these things. For example, let's add one of these large text areas. And this is pretty much to add any static, not changing text. So let's just go ahead and drag that in the middle and type anything you want. So if you actually drag it in the middle, you're going to see these little green grid lines. And that's just to align everything properly. Now if you double click this, then you can edit the text of it. And I'm just going to type in like the new Boston. Hit enter and it changes. So it's really intuitive like that. Not really hard to figure out. So you can also add some more widgets if you want. Again, like I said, I'm just demonstrating um, how to use the basic tools, so feel free to drag any of these widgets on if you just want to play around with it. For example, you have radio buttons and progress bars, all that stuff. So again, widgets are just thingies that you can add to your interface. Now again, you can either do that in design mode or text mode. So whenever you click text mode, it actually shows you a little preview right here, which is actually nice. So let's go ahead and just add one little property. So in your XML file right here, just so um, you don't, you know, I don't leave you guys hanging and I do explain everything. If you guys never work with XML before, it's pretty much like HTML, but you can use cool names for your tags. So if you don't know HTML or XML, then I'll probably recommend going to watch those tutorials. But as long as you know HTML, then you guys will probably be able to follow along with these tutorials fine. So again a real quick overview we're going to be talking about this in detail later on this tutorial is just to give you guys a basic understanding so right now our main tag right here is a relative layout now a layout is just a general overview of it's saying how widgets should be positioned on the screen and there are different types of layouts that we can have but it's pretty much the overall rules of how things can be laid out um, now this text view right here is just this widget right here so each widget you add actually adds a new XML element to your file. So say that we wanted to change the background color of this right here. Well, what we would do is actually go up to relative layout and add a new attribute. For right now, I just want to show you guys, if you type Android colon and type background, then what you can do is you can actually type in a value here. Now this is actually one of my favorite colors, 006699. Um, it's a blue color that I use on my website a lot. So again, you can also um, pretty much edit the interface this way through the source code. So again, the XML is your interface. We looked at how to change it with design, this design tool, and we're probably going to be using this one more often. And also, the source code directly is pretty much just like a website, um, kind of like Dreamweaver, if you ever use that. So yeah. And actually, what I want to do is actually click this widget right here and you see that I just click that and it gave me some problems what I'm gonna do is hit control Z and I'm gonna show you guys this little tip over here in their component tree is pretty much an overview of your entire activity so this is your entire screen this is the layout of how the widgets are supposed to be arranged and right here I'm gonna click text view so if you ever have a bunch of widgets and they're kinda of hard to select maybe they're close together or whatever you can actually just select it right in this component tree and it's going to select it for you. So again, deselect it, select it again, make selecting your widgets a little bit easier. And actually, what I want to do to this is change the color of the text to white. So I'm going to select that widget, 
and I know the property for this is text color so if I find that I'm just gonna click in well I guess I just type it in I know the value the value of white is FFF FFF and hit enter and check it out your text is now white probably the coolest app ever again this tool right here it isn't really that hard to understand but we'll cover more about it later on got your widgets component tree properties drag and drop tomato tomato so now let's go ahead and hop over to this now there's actually one more file that I want to show you before I let you go so each activity like I said is XML and Java file however go up to your app and you're gonna find a directory under it called manifest now expand this and you're gonna find another XML file called Android manifest.xml now double click that to open it and let me drag this all the way to the left alright so to recap one more time your app is more likely than not gonna have a bunch of different activities now this Android manifest right here think of this like is the main manager for your app or it's where everything comes together if you have a bunch of activities floating around they can be kinda hard to keep track of so what this does again it's the main file that pretty much manages your entire app so each activity that you create this is actually gonna be a new element in the Android manifest file so I'll actually talk to you guys about this right now as soon as your application starts of course your phone doesn't know what to do it says okay where do I go you have a bunch of different activities well, what am I supposed to be doing the very first thing that your phone's gonna do is it's gonna look for a file called Android manifest.xml so it says okay I'm always gonna look for this file right here and right after I open this file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at all of your activities now right now we only have one activity so it shouldn't take it too long to find but it's gonna look through all your activities right here and it's gonna look for a property called actually all these properties are kind of important but it's gonna look for a property called launcher now this launcher is pretty much saying that this is the main activity that you wanna launch first this is where your apps starting point is so it says okay I found it now let's check out this activity alright so it says the launcher is the main activity so from here you want me to go to the main activity so it hops over here and then it says okay well what's the deal with this main activity well all of this we'll talk about later essentially all this activity does right now is it sets this as your layout activity underscore main right there so again three very important files but that's essentially all our app is doing right here again I'm gonna be covering the details of everything later on but your phone is gonna look at this first Android manifest XML it's gonna look for the activity that it's supposed to launch now ours says go to main activity and all main activity do T does right now I can't talk is it launches this layout so what the user does is they click to open this app and they see this layout but now we know what's going on behind the scenes so we can edit it and start making some really awesome stuff so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and well I'll see you guys later all right guys welcome back to another tutorial and in this video actually the first thing I want you guys to do in this tutorial is go to your kitchen and grab a huge bucket of popcorn and then after that go to your bedroom and grab the most comfortable blanket you can possibly find and then come back because once you have both those things you're ready to hear the story probably the greatest story I ever told this story is called the life of an activity so you know if you're an Android developer this might be a pretty interesting story definitely pretty useful it starts out like this every activity that you ever create is going to be a subclass of the special class that we didn't see yet called the activity class so out there somewhere there's this activity class and every activity that you create we're gonna inherit from now remember whenever we inherit from something we get all of the cool methods from that class now if you're looking at this and you're like okay I can clearly see that main activity extends action bar activity and extends just means inherit of course you guys know so this is actually a subclass of action bar activity but you said that every activity that I create is gonna inherit from this activity class 
Well, even though you can't see it directly right here, this action bar activity 